Hi, this is Mike Peasley with SoundIron, and I'd like to welcome you to Symbology One Bode. Uh, this library is a massive uh, percussion effects collection uh, focusing on Bode Symbol, which is a classic horror and dramatic scoring uh, staple. It kind of caught people's attention in the 60s and 70s, uh, and has kind of become kind of a mainstay. It's really ideal for pretty much any time you want to lay down an eerie kind of vibe, similar to the water harp, but with a lot more of an aggressive edge to it and uh, a bit more complexity. Um, especially uh, in this library, we captured uh, 20 different symbols, crashes, splashes, chinas, rides, uh, and then a bunch of special effects, uh, street cross, and some trash formers and, and uh, a lot of different kinds of bells. Not your typical bell, but uh, basically small, heavy gauge, heavy alloy symbols that have a very pure, strong note to them and a, a very hard bite. So in this library, we bowed them using a regular viola bow. And um, beyond that, uh, we started playing around with dry ice on the cymbal. Uh, and the dry ice rapidly evaporates against the surface of, of the cymbal and creates really interesting resonances. And that can go from uh, low hums and whines and buzzes to piercing shrieks and roars and rumbles. Basically, as much variation as you get out of the bowed sound, but an entirely different flavor to it. So... For acoustic sustaining cymbal effects, this library pretty much solves it. Uh, there's just a lot of material here, uh, several thousand samples. Uh, beyond that, we also found the most musically interesting bits and programmed them into uh, kind of modified tune percussion presets, and they're very bell-like, very pure and crystalline. Probably one of the strongest elements in the library just simply because it allows you to do entire compositions with just this library because it adds that whole other lead element. Uh, and then we did about a gigabyte of uh, brand new ambiences using these samples as our starting points, but all sorts of different kinds of methods. We branched out into new directions in sound design with this library to get a lot of different kinds of ambiences. So there's four main sets, uh, each with a different kind of flavor, but then within them, dozens of, of variants that go in pretty wildly different directions. So to jump right in, uh, here's our interface for Symbology. This is the, the kind of primary interface uh, on the front panel. You've got your typical knobs, uh, swell, which controls volume, attack, offset, and release. Those all shape your uh, normal parameters um, to either be able to truncate the tail or roll in the attack or jump forward into the sample with the offset. Stepping is, of course, to change the pitch in, in a half step. And then uh, we've got um, LFOs. Uh, and filters lined up that you can control each one. They're all independent, and they can all be on at once. Um, you can dial them in any way you like, and this is all automatable. So let's play a couple samples so you can hear. Um, as, a, as a standard effects patch, basically you're going to have a different sound on each key. You can change the pitch with the stepping or with your typical tune knob, um, but each key has its own sample, and then there are a variety of parameters you can use to reshape them. <laughs> This symbol's a carved ride. Um, I mean, I don't really know what else to call it, but it's uh, basically a symbol that had a lot of circles punched through it, and uh, it really changed up the, the behavior of the symbol and gave it a lot of different complex resonances as the sound kind of raced around. And uh, let me show off a couple of the... Let me bounce to another preset. Uh, they all have this, the same core functionality, uh, but I'll show you the LFOs. <laughs>
Oh, Lord. Hello. Yeah, so you can do a lot of crazy, crazy things that kind of allow you to take these things in entirely different directions than just typical horror effects. Dial down some noise. Resonance. We don't blow the doors off. One of the cool things about the offset is that you can start to make these more percussive just in and of themselves. The effects. This is a giant Tibetan copper bowl. So you got your usual uh, EQ, lo-fi. Um, Filter, rotator is kind of interesting. And delay. And you, you kind of get the idea. You can bypass all. And then, of course, um, our reverb, uh, convolution. These were recorded just in all of our favorite locations. And then uh, we pulled some interesting samples from a lot of our libraries um, that work really cool as convolutions. So let's... There's a lot of different things you can do here. Let's check out some of the Frozen samples. One of the things that this library has um, to really kind of broaden its usability is we recorded it in uh, two positions, a uh, super close, almost dry position, and then a far hole position. And we recorded it in the same uh, large open church that we recorded Mars and uh, Montclairian, uh, Venus, and a lot of our other stuff. So we definitely love this hall a lot, and I think it complements this kind of percussion. This is the sound of dry ice against the cymbals.
have a filter. that so we've created uh, time stretch presets for this library that um, use the time machine 2 engine mode try this one one of the things to to know about the speed is that it's best to kind of keep it in the mid-range, uh, not too far off of neutral if you don't want to hear too much in the way of artifacts or stuttering. But if you want really unique special effects, then you can, you can go to more extreme settings. Um, these were actually World War II and World War I artillery shells. Um, I think they were... 75 millimeter all the way up to 90 millimeter howitzer shells. And why don't we just jump right into the tune percussion. These presets were created with specialized editing, and um, they basically are what they are. And uh, the cool thing about these is you can play around with the offset to get even more soft pad. And a lot of these have a lot of bass.
Show off the arpeggiator for these. You can do quite a bit of stuff with these. Um, and you can constrain to scales, all different types. So you can get a lot of different sounds out of these.
that's our tune percussion section. And uh, lastly, we've got this deep ambient section. And there's just too much to cover in, in this walkthrough. Um, but they come in all shapes and sizes. Um, so we can throw in our two-layer mixer so you can hear. This one particular set, the Shiftscapes, that's just one of the four main categories of ambiences. And um, you can basically control with X-Blend. You can assign and control two different layers. And of course, you can throw on some filters. Uh, and lastly, I'll give you a quick tour of some of our ambiences. Uh, here's Shiftscapes. It's just one of the four main categories of ambiences we have. And in this preset, you can mix between two different layers. So basically this library is a pretty powerful tool chest capable of constructing entire songs, which you can hear from a lot of the demos uh, that we have posted. So we hope you enjoy it. We had a lot of fun making it, and um, we'll talk to you real soon.